Well, hello. Welcome to today's video. This is going to be a lot of fun. We're going to be installing this 550 watt solar panel on this dynamic enforcer. We're going to be using this charge controller and eco worthy. This is a boost controller. It actually takes a lower voltage. We got 45 volts here. It needs to boost that up to 57 to charge a lithium battery. And this charge controller will do that. So let's get to it. All right. So we've got these bolt covers on here. Take those off. And you've got an Allen wrench on top. Socket on the bottom. There's just six of these, so that should be pretty quick and easy. That one was missing already. We don't even need that Allen wrench on top. There we go. So I pre-cut these one inch steel tubing and I painted it already so it's ready to go and we're just gonna put these right on here so these are cut to the length that the solar panel is the width of the solar panel okay so I put some lines on both sides half inch from the center of the hole each way so this is centered on the hole and then I've got three and a quarter inches sticking out on both sides and that's where it's gonna go and I will Okay, that marks it. Now I'm going to clamp this side. That'll hold it in place So I mark this side. Okay, there we go. We got our marking holes. So I'm gonna drill this one and then I'm gonna use it to drill the other three. And then we'll uh, put them on. So I decided I'm gonna put these spacers on there. It gives me a little bit more uh, bounce, maybe. Well, one more. Maybe I'm thinking it might be a little better for the solar panels. And it does give me a little bit more headroom. What I do like about these, how I'm just going on top here. I see the solar panels will go right there. They'll go up a little bit more. But all your handles can just stay on there just how they are. It's like this thing was made for solar panels. All right, we'll cinch that down. There. Yeah, I like that. Okay, solar panel. All right, let's do this. Okay, check that out. That's pretty cool. So this solar panel is really dusty because it had the sat on that trailer over there and went across 17 miles of dirt road. So at this point, I just gotta line it up. I'm really liking that fit. I think I'll go backwards and line it up with the front here. At this point, it's just kind of a matter of preference and force. I think we'll try that. We'll go 10 and 3 eighths. Let me just kind of look at that. I think that is the magic. I like it. Okay. Maybe we'll bolt this down. So yeah, that's pretty easy. See on the club car, I actually welded up an entire frame because this only came up this far. I had these little pieces here and there. See, and so I welded up this whole square tubing rack all around to put these ones on. Yeah, this is a lot easier to put a panel on. One big panel. See, it's four small panels, one big panel. Alright, just gotta drill some holes. Ended up buying some bigger boxes and bolts and nuts because I know I'm gonna be doing a lot of solar panels on golf carts. Okay, this is so when I drill through, I don't damage the solar panels. It's pretty easy to go all the way through this and through the aluminum and up into there. All right, just gotta do that five more times. Well, uh, I'll go ahead and do that, and then we will start putting the put the charge controller on. 
all bolted down now. It looks good, I like it. I think it's gonna be great. I went ahead and I mounted the charge controller right here. So this has a cooling fan in, so it's not a sealed one. So I figured this is the best place for it. Probably the less dust, probably the least amount of dust. And it's also gonna be, should be fairly protected from the weather. If I put it down under the seat here, it's gonna be real dusty down in here. So I don't want it in here. So we've got a Vatterer 48 volt battery here, lithium, that we're gonna be hooking this to. So I've gone ahead, pulled all the bolts, all the mounting bolts through this whole tube here. Actually, surprised it's still there. There's nothing holding it. So I can feed this wire through it. The bolts in there is just too tight to get the wire to go through. Still might, might not be able to get that wire through there. Looks like I made it all the way down to there. All right, let's see what we can do here. There we go, bottom. Ooh, look at that, it is right. So close, it's right there. Cool. Gotta go get a cutting tool. Okay, really like this cutting tool. Got big old wires with that. Okay, see that gives me a good run right down through this. Hook it right down like this, right down to the battery. Very nice. All right, I'm gonna get some connectors put on here and this bolted back up and then we'll hook up this charge controller. On charge controllers, you always hook up the battery first. You hook up your panels first, you're gonna have problems because sometimes if you're doing a really high voltage panels, then they can fry stuff before the before you hook up your battery. And the battery tells, powers up the controllers and tells it what voltage you're working with and everything. Battery first. All right, so we're gonna, cr I've crimped one on. We'll crimp another one on. These are some pretty big connectors, but it's got the right size hole. I don't have the small enough one. So what I've done is I've folded the wire in half and I'm sticking it in there and then crimping it. There we go. Okay, so at this point, we're gonna turn off the battery. I guess we could have turned that off a while ago. That's what I really like about lithium batteries. Just turn them off. I got no power here. It's kind of crazy. All those years of dealing with lead acid and the corrosion everywhere, it's just nice not to have all that corrosion. So when you hook up the batteries, you always put the biggest where the most power is drawn right tight to the battery. And then these other ones, it's your charger. This can go right here. Technically, I probably could just undo that charging one. I probably won't need any more. After I put solar panels on the club car, I haven't plugged it in since. So I doubt I'll ever have to plug this one in again. Okay, we are hooked to the battery on this side. So I'm really liking this Vatterer battery. We put it in about a week ago. I've been driving around, testing it, driving up mountains, doing stuff, working really well. I've still got to do a distance test on it, but I didn't want to do a distance test until I had a solar panel on here because we drive clear out in the middle of the desert. That's nice to be able to just charge your back up. I like to take power with me wherever I go. I guess we throw this seat back on for now. Yeah, so we just gotta hook this to this. Um, I'm just gonna do some wire nuts for now. So the reason I'm just using some twisted with some wire nuts is because I might be changing this out. We'll test it. This will get us up and running so we can test it. But here's the reality is this is rated for 450 watts and this is 550 watts. I'm 100 watts more than it's rated for. We might be burning it out. But my hope is, we'll see what the amps are. Maybe that'll balance it out. Because we're gonna be, I put a voltmeter on this. We was like 47 volts coming out of the panel. We're gonna boost it up to uh, 50 volts is the max on this too. So voltage wise, we're right up tight. Maxing it out voltage wise too. So <laughs> over, but it might be because my volts are so high on this, my amps might be low enough. Maybe I'm under 12 amps, but we'll fire it up and see. Oh. Uh, yeah, let's hook, turn the battery on. Okay. That turns on the BMS, fires up the battery. We've got power. This should be turned on, I don't know why. Let me test power right there. 
it's hard to get into them wire nuts. Fifty-two volts. Well, we can plug the panels in and see what happens. Okay. That livened it up. According to that, we've got 53.7 volts. And 5, uh, 2.8, 2.7. So, there's your amps. That's a nice bright screen. I like that. Let's go ahead and set it for lithium. So, what you want to do is this for lithium, we want to be 58.4. Best charging, according to this manual. You hold this for a while, you know, zero it out. You hold it down, it goes one volt at a time. But when you, uh, you just push it, you're gonna go point volt at a time. See, we just do point. But we want 58, so we'll keep going. Which is 7.6. Fifty-eight point two, three point four. Fifty-eight point four. That should be it. So this charge controller, it can do sixty volt, seventy volt, all the way from twenty to you know, twenty-four, thirty-six, forty-eight, sixty, seventy-two volts. Battery bank with the same charger. Forty-eight volts and below, you keep it in the forty-eight volt switch point position. Switch it up to sixty and up to seventy-two to do more. That is charging at this point we can turn this on 80 percent charging now what i'm doing here is i'm going to hook directly into the battery uh bluetooth to the battery what i like about the battery is it tells you your amps and your watts what's coming in watt wise too so yeah we've got a 130 watts coming in that's working really well pretty cool so it's kind of cloudy too Tomorrow, this will really get cranking up. So I'm just gonna take some twist ties, or I should say zip ties. Just gonna zip tie this down, clean it up a little bit, uh, finish putting everything away. But that's uh, that's an install. Okay, so we are all installed now, up and running. A little bit of cleanup to do. We're gonna go ahead and. Uh, drive it from here we'll be doing some driving if you want to watch more performance and how the solar panel works and because we'll be watching the watts and the amps so different stuff as we climb mountains and do stuff but the next thing we're going to do with this golf cart is we're going to do a drive test so if you watch the drive test video you can watch this solar panel really work and then see how well it does but we'll uh catch you guys in the next video